as you can see and witnessed, we've just performed the, the first robotic radical prostatectomy in Nigeria, West Africa. Um, and uh, um, it's a good feeling. Uh, I, I'm speechless, if I have to say. So the robot, this is the Da Vinci robot, that's the, uh, the state-of-the-art robot system. Uh, with the robot, you have three times magnification in 3D of vision unparalleled by anything that we've ever seen in surgery before. And with the robot, you have seven degrees of freedom of movement. It means that the robot arms, as you can see behind me, has been designed to, to perform like a human arm with seven degrees of freedom. And that means that you can reach any depth and have every maneuver 360 degrees uh, and be able with the magnification and the 3D image to peel off all the nerves, the blood vessels. You could see today hardly any bleeding and uh, just uh, by docking the robot through keyholes into the abdomen of the patient, we've been able to uh, detach the prostate, uh, save his nerves uh, with minimal discomfort. And, uh, and, and by tomorrow, he'll be home. So that's what the robot brings. Uh, it's about precision, uh, it's cutting edge, and uh, state of the art. And I'm really very pleased that we've been able to achieve that at the prostate clinic for the first time and to pioneer um, the advancement of surgery for our country. Well, well this has been a 10 year dream for me. Uh, I've been dreaming about this, uh, coming to my country to do this. Um, and I've, I've been operating on the robot in the UK. Uh, but uh, to be able to, to come home, bring the machine, perform the surgery with all the detailing that, that comes with it, the engineering aspect of it, the physics, uh, the, the, the training, my wonderful staff, they've been undergoing intensive training for the last three days to be able to understand the surgical robot, how the robot functions. And, and the robot doesn't get tired, you know. So once the instrument is docked onto the hands of the robot, it stays like that, with precision. No shaking, no movement. It's cutting-edge precision surgery. Um, I can talk about this for, for a whole year. As you can see, I'm very excited. I'm happy, I'm pleased, and we have done it. Nigeria has its first Da Vinci robot. It's something to be proud of. Well, well, my dream is that no man in this country, and indeed Africa, should die needlessly from prostate cancer. We want to be able to identify it early. That's very important. And uh, here at the, at the TPC, 
you can have early diagnosis, screening, especially if you have a family history of prostate cancer, you can have screening with state-of-the-art diagnostic services. Uh, and if we find the, the cancer, it's not a death sentence by any means. We can, it can be cured once it's found early. And with the Da Vinci robot now in this country, I tell Nigerians, fear no more. You should be able to, to get your health check and know that even if you have prostate cancer, you can still be alive for many, many years, enjoying your life with your loved ones. So there's nothing to, to fear. Um, I'm very, very happy and excited. And Nigerians should be able to look forward to a cheap and affordable medical service at the TPC. And, uh, uh, you know, state-of-the-art cutting-edge uh, technology doesn't have to be prohibited for the average pa patient. And that's why I'm here in Nigeria, because I want to get surgery to the doors of the average patient in this country and make sure that they benefit. You don't have to travel abroad. There's nothing to, to travel abroad for. You don't have to go to any country, be a second-class citizen. You have a robot in Nigeria, and uh, it's functional. And we just performed uh, the first case. Patient will be happy. I'm sure he's going to talk to Nigerians about his experience as well. <laughs>